Hi, and welcome to a new Plug and Groove video. My name is John Skippy. Let him cool. Welcome. Nice to see you. Hey, so we have a new library by Tim Dale. This is Dark Forces Volume 2. Uh, it is a library with 200 new patches for Omnisphere, 25 multis for Omnisphere using 80 different custom sound sources, plus all the sounds inside of Omnisphere 2, of course, to make the patches in this library. It's aimed at darker, more distorted sides of pop, uh, cinematic, all sorts of things that need a little bit of a little more aggression to your your serial. <laughs> right? There's also a unified version of this library which has an additional 125 bonus patches down here at the end where he is combining all of these different patches. All sorts of crazy, fun, new ways to make Right? So it goes all sorts of different places. And we'll start at the top. I'm not going to play every patch, of course, because there's like, between Unify and Omnisphere, there's like 500 patches. So we're not going to go quite that deep into what we can do, but I'm going to give you a little just round tour. So you saw the demo at the beginning. I went through a handful of different patches in the library. It is 
darker, distorted, cool attitude, creative patches with a lot of deep programming. This is volume two. Volume one came out about a year ago. Uh, it's a continuation of that where there's all sorts of, there's 80 different samples that he put into Omnisphere that are distorted and cool sounds and percussion. As you go through the list, there's basses, there's arps, there's BPM drums, which are all sorts of really cool. Really cool, fun stuff like that. BPM guitars, more percussion. There's more basses, all this BPM sequence stuff. Then there's distorted effects, guitar, keys, leads, pads, perk, plucks, sweeps, synths, textures. Uh, there's really cool like transition. Uh, and some Vox. Some. So you get, get an idea for the vibe. I'm going to just, I'm not going to talk very much. I'm just going to play through a whole bunch of patches, okay? To give you just a smattering of what you can find in this library. It is a library to explore. And this is used for all sorts of genres. Even though it's distorted and stuff, this kind of stuff is, it's leaking more and more into mainstream pop. Uh, all sorts of stuff for the dance genres use all sorts of distorted mangled weird sounds all the time so this library is useful for all sorts of things um there's nothing in here for meditation so if you're looking for meditation that's we have other libraries for that and this video is sponsored by my website pluginguru.com this is where you come to get unify or any of these libraries there's over a hundred libraries at this point for all sorts of plugins so you come to pluginguru.com to pick up patches that are inspiring and get you all fired up for whatever music you're working on, okay? Thank you. All right, let's dive into this. So we have... Very cool, very cool. So here's some of the BPM ARPs. Okay, here we go with BPM basses.
this one that has the ARP on, you could turn this off and just play it if you want, just so you know. Uh, the chapa. Down to the wire is distorted. And then we get to BPM drum, and there's a whole bunch of these Tractronic. And in Unify, it's really fun because you can layer all of these easily. You can layer in Omnisphere too. Let me give you a quick tip. If you want to layer patches, go to Multi, go to Stack, and turn it on. And then you have eight layers. So you can go to Layer 2 and go to this library, Dark Forces Volume 2. Go to the BPM drums. So on one, we have 30, and on two, we have 33. There you go. And when you're done experimenting with layers, just go over here and say initialize multi, and that will get you back to playing just on layer one, just one part. Uh, let's get back to the BPM drums. One note. Okay, BPM effects. A lot on the mod wheel for some of these to get them to go up. Very fun. Uh Zizzing groove. Uh, BPM guitars. Uh, here's a side of saw. Perk. <laughs> One patch. <laughs> it's cool to have libraries that's, that are outside of the box, you know? You put these into the track and you'll just have all sorts of unexpected things. You know, makes the songs richer. song with that right by itself. One note. <laughs> Box. 
Fun to play with these. Oh, cool. Rings of power. All doom distortion. <laughs> Problems in the kitchen, sounds like. Uh, here's cutoff point in the guitars. Cool. Got reverb and all sorts of stuff on the mod wheel. Keys. A uh, chrome. How do you say this? Rhodes chroma noise. So I silos in. Ah. Uh, here's an awkward situation. <laughs> on the mod wheel for that one. Uh, complaints department. <laughs> Yeah, just a slight, slight sonic change. Pads. of internal night. That's very nice. 
uh, big hitter. I think, that, yeah, he's using some samples that he's, some of those 80s samples I was telling you about. Here they are. heavier than air. Very fun. Uh, minimal contact. Weeps. Wild ride. Since uh, say it clear. Surgical strike. Boat, boat run. Solar storm. Uh, the way, oh, this way, Madness lies. Real stuff transitions. Uh, here's another sliding into chaos. Yeah. Uh, Barry, who? Then if you put this into Unify, you'll see at the end of this list in the library, there's a whole bunch of Z patches. And these are layers. Here's some of these things where he's layering multiple layers of Omnisphere patches.
making all these cool fun things. stuff uh bpm guitar but he's layering this is two omnisphere patches and two dx7s together so that's really cool uh bpm perk and there's macro controls for if you want for the percussion So it's fun and unified. We can take things much farther than you can just inside of Omnis. Like this one. There's nine layers. So there's quite a few Omnisphere and other things going on. Really fun. Uh, here's permafrost. pads plugs Uh, here is the Choir of Liars. Cool. Again, as you can see, there's macro knobs for turning all sorts of things on. So you can have sequencing or turn it off. So, Dark Forces Volume 2. Lots of stuff that isn't supposed to sound like anything else. It's all out of the box. Deep programming in Omnisphere. 80 custom new samples. 200 patches. Really well done. This is, I think, like library number 9 or 10 for Tim. Um, just a prolific programmer. Does really great stuff. So, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, okay?